Hi everybody, DJ Yokely with you for a very, very, and I mean very special occasion. It is Tolnar's take, and the golf guru joins me now, Brian Tolnar from Mill Creek. Uh, Brian, a lot of stuff to talk about. Golf season kind of winding down a little bit, but this is when those those first time golfers kind of go out. They get some discount clubs, they get some discount rates. Uh, talk to me about how golf season winds down this time of year, and, and the excitement level that you guys still have for it even though you're kind of closing up shop? Well, I think for me, it's my favorite part of the season. Number one, going into the fall, you have so much going on, you know, as, as, as a golfer, uh, to be able to get out there and play at, on a Saturday or Sunday before NFL or the NCAA uh, plays, I think makes the fall extra special. The leaves changing, the, the conditions. I've always played better in the fall, so I tend to enjoy it a little bit more than, uh, than others do. But the way our weather pattern has worked the past couple of years, it's it's like our springs are a little bit later. We're you know we're pushed into that April May time frame, which actually pushes our season all the way in through about Thanksgiving. So you know it's it's exciting to be able to play fall golf. You've got uh, high school golf that'll be finishing up uh, during the the fall months and the state tournaments traditionally held in October. Uh, you've got the FedEx Cup coming to an end uh, this week. You've got the Ryder Cup on the horizon in about three weeks from now. Uh, so there's a there's a lot of stuff going on. You've got the Ladies Solheim Cup going on in Toledo. They just finished up the Junior Solheim Cup yesterday, and European uh, dominance basically chipped us out on the uh, singles matches. They they won nine of the twelve singles matches. So um, there's a lot of excitement around golf right now. So they're they're going into the adult version of the the Solheim Cup today and through the weekend. Uh, it's basically the ladies edition of the Ryder Cup. There, where there's a team competition between the U.S. and and Europe. Um, I'm just a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan of, of leaves and stuff blowing around on the golf course, but I think out of you know any of the, the maintenance staffs that, that are around, I think ours, ours does a superior job with what they have to work with and you know all the trees that are on our property here at Mill Creek. But I, I think you know once those are down, I think it's clear sailing into about the 25th, 27th of uh, November is historically where we've been for playing golf. So it's, for me, it's, it's an exciting time. You've got people coming to the game. We've got a junior golf camp coming in October uh, for those still wishing to play. <clears throat> We've got a little par three event <clears throat> coming as well this year uh, with Canfield uh, Middle School and High School, you know, basically grooming some players, getting them ready for high school golf. It's going to go on between our place and Pardo's uh, through as long as they can play. So I think it's great for the sport, great for the game. And you know, a lot of people come to the game. The only thing that that's a big challenge in the fall is is daylight. You know, you know, five thirty, six o'clock after the time changes, you know, you're really limited on what you can do. But you know, for me, I love fall golf. A little bit cooler, a little bit crisper mornings makes for a lot of fun. 